Hello friends, it is a Costco shopping day. I am currently sitting in line waiting for gas and it is busy. But we're gonna get some gas and then we're gonna head into Costco and do a little bit of shopping. It's a different trip today. I'll explain once we get inside. It is currently about 25 degrees outside. So I'm sitting in the car watching my uh, gas pump because brr, it's cold. I think the last time that I filled up on gas, it was like $5.39. So it's gone down a dollar. I feel like gas is really just so all over the place lately. I don't know if you feel that where you live, but definitely in Alaska, that is what we're feeling. Oh, it's done. So I wasn't actually planning on coming to Costco today. We are about to leave on a trip and I didn't want to go shopping for any perishables, but I need something else. And since the snow has not stuck on the ground really here at this Costco, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of stocking up on non-perishable foods. So let's get inside. Sorry. So at home recently, we have been doing some rearranging of rooms. It seems like every year or so we assess how things are working and then make some changes. Well, Hunter has been asking me for months if he could downsize to a smaller bed now that he is sharing a room with Bennett. It just wasn't working to have such a big queen size bed in there. So I have been trying to find supplies, mattresses and box springs to make that happen. Mark saw on Facebook that some people that go to our church had taken in some refugees from Ukraine and we asked them if they would like a bed. And they said, we're not sure because we don't know when they're gonna get a place of their own. And so we said, well, we have this bed if you need it. Well, this weekend they finally got a home for these two refugee families. They're gonna be sharing this home and they were so excited to come get the bed. Well, we ended up giving them Hunter's bed and Bennett's bed because they didn't have any beds at all. So now I am on the hunt again for some beds. So these are the mattresses we like. I'm gonna grab one of those. $179.99. But unfortunately, the only box spring they have is a queen size one. So I'm gonna have to keep looking at the other Costco for that. We'll see if we have time today to go but I am gonna grab a mattress here. I wanted to tell you that story because I just love how perfect God's timing is. There were several times before we knew about these Ukrainian refugees that we were like, we'll just put the bed up on Facebook and sell it, and it just didn't feel right. But we were able to give them those two beds. We gave them a really nice chair and a rug that I had just taken out of my office, and it just all came together so beautifully. And we honestly cannot wait to have them over to dinner and get to know their kids better. They have 12 year old boys and a five year old girl that just like ran around with Everett for half an hour while we took the beds apart. It was just beautiful. And each year at Christmas time, we like to do some sort of service for other families. And I feel in my heart that these are the families that we are gonna help this year. So we'll see what they need once they get all um, settled into their new house after this week. All right, we're gonna skip most of this section but we do need bananas for this week. Oh good, they have some yellow ones. $2.79. All right, $3.69 for some English muffins. Now that we have moose breakfast sausage in the freezer, I've been pulling it out and making breakfast sandwiches. So Bennett said, mom, get more English muffins. We, we want sandwiches. They just love them so much. It's really, really good. I'm restocking up, these are on sale. This time, maybe we'll keep some around for Christmas gifts. Gary! Are you handing out cards? Yeah, do you want yes. one? So you know our you channel. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Everyone say hi to Gary. Hi guys, Maureen's the greatest. He's showing me the sample size. Uh, they have new utensils, so I have to take it home to Everett. Perfect. <laughs> it makes the samples look huge now. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we all had a good laugh on those. Yeah. I was gonna get Gary in trouble. We were stopping to chat for too long. He said thank you for all your birthday wishes. 
All right, I'm gonna grab this. I'm trying to assemble some clothes for family pictures. $29.99. It is fleece lined. So that's kind of nice for Mark. See how he likes that. I feel like once we get to this section of the store, I'm usually like out of room. So we are going to do a little bit of stocking up as we go through the non-perishable foods. Garbanzo beans, $7.89. $10.99 black olives, $11.39, $11.79. We like to have these when we go like ice fishing or camping, so I'm gonna grab some canned chicken breast, $13.69. I just feel like it's good to have some of this on hand just in case, and I actually like it on salad, so $13.69. Classico, $10.99. Avocado oil, $21.99. I feel like this has gone up in price. Let's see how it compares to olive oil. $35.49, a lot cheaper. Like half the price. If you saw our recent video, we need to restock on snacks for our emergency bins for our cars. So I'm gonna grab a couple things here to put in our emergency bins in case we were ever to like slide off the road and need some snacks. These would help us out. I like to take them out every year before I put them in the car and restock them so that they're not expired if we ever needed to use them. Chocolate chips, $10.99. Get ready for holiday baking. $25 pound bag of sugar, $21.49. $25 pound bag of flour, $13.99, $6.59 for Idaho Spuds, noodles $11.99, this is the other thing that I like to put in the emergency bin, some beef jerky. $16.99. Raisins are on sale. Mark loves raisins, so I'm gonna stock up $9.29 each. All right, here we go. I think this is gonna be it for today. For not thinking that I was gonna to shop today, I feel like this is a really good stock up trip. This was a good opportunity to get some things that I don't usually have room for. to find a box spring. All right, I'm gonna give the mattress sperm a chance, see if they have any box springs. Well, that didn't work out. They wanted like $390 for a box spring. Nope. We'll wait for Costco. Oh, we have other places he can sleep. We have a hide-a-bed and things, so we're fine. And hopefully, after we get back from our trip, we'll be able to find one for the Costco price. Since most of the stuff from today's Costco haul is going to stay down in the garage, we're gonna do a garage haul today, but I'm gonna get it all out of the back of the car and get it into the garage, and then I'll show you what we ended up with and tell you the total. And we'll go find this Luna. I need to warm up for a second before I do the haul. Having the garage door open for that bit of time is so cold in there. My hands are frozen. Let's go find Luna and then we'll go back out and do the haul. All right, Luna girl's here in my office having a nap in the soft blanket. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're so warm. I'm so cold. My hands are so cold. Oh, are you okay? Did you have a good day? <laughs> oh, 
good scratches. We have been watching Grandma's cat. She went home this morning. I think Luna is feeling a little bit lost, even though they were not the best of friends. <laughs> Grandma's cat is older and didn't have much patience for Luna, but she might be missing her friend this afternoon, even though they had a love-hate relationship. All right, I'll let you get back to your nap. It has warmed up tremendously in here. Uh, the heater is still on up here behind me. I was hoping it would turn off. I gave it about five minutes, but I only have a few more minutes before I have to go pick up the kids from school. Some of you had questions about why my kids don't have a bus. Right now in the school district that we are in, we have a school bus driver shortage. So my kids are on three weeks of having a bus and then they have six weeks before they get a bus again. And so we had our three weeks and we are back to me having to drive them, which means about an hour and a half of my time is spent running around to and from school or Mark. Mark will take Hunter in the morning. We've got one carpool set up, but it's just tricky. So that is why I have to go pick up my kids and can't wait for this heater to turn off. Sorry, it's so loud. Maybe it's gonna go off. I'll just have to talk loud over it. It's getting louder. All right, so I did grab a 25 pound bag of flour, some bananas just for the rest of this week. We have four days until we go on vacation. Sugar, potatoes, a thing of pasta, two things of chocolate chips. Oh yay, it turned off. I grabbed these two olive oils for food storage. I do, lo I love the flavor of olive oil, but I actually prefer to cook with avocado oil. So I picked up two of those. Grab some chicken breast. It's great for just having great food storage. We use these in our breakfast burritos. So I grabbed another one of those. Three things of raisins. Three things of Classico sauce, because we were down to just one. We typically have spaghetti once a week with our moose meat, so that is good to have a good stock of spaghetti sauce. This and this go in the emergency kit for the car for the winter. These the boys love, and they're shelf stable until you open them, so I grabbed a new bag of those. And I did grab three bags of these, because right when I'm filming this, they're on sale. Sorry if they're not on sale anymore by the time you're seeing this. And then I got a new mattress and this jacket for Mark to try for our family pictures. So there is the haul. This was definitely not a normal trip. Usually the trip is full of fresh fruits and vegetables, but we are trying to get our refrigerator down to nothing before we go on our trip. So I just avoided that section, except for the Costco chicken, the bananas, and the English muffins. Those were a few things that I knew we needed for these last four days before we leave. The bed was $179.99, so we need to factor that in. And the grand total was $548. And 20 cents so it did end up being quite the haul today even though it doesn't look like a ton it will be great to have these things on our shelves for food storage so I like to refer to this food storage behind me as our working pantry this is stuff that we eat on a regular basis and when we run out of things in our upstairs pantry we come down here to our overflow pantry so Every couple of months, I like to go through this and clean it up, make sure it's all organized. I always put the date on everything before I put it on the shelves, or Mark does if he's bringing things down here. And then we always put the oldest stuff to the front and the newest stuff to the back, and we go through this stuff. We make sure these shelves are full of things that we would actually eat in the case of an emergency. Alaska, it could be ice storms, it could be earthquake, it could be other bad weather. We also wanna be prepared in case something happens financially and we need to rely on this food storage. So let's get it cleaned up and put away the groceries. I'm curious to know how many of you have an overflow food storage pantry like this. Well, maybe not exactly like this, but do you have a couple months worth of food stocked up or do you just have what you buy every week at the grocery store? We have always thought that it's really important to keep a back stock of food and we just work at it little by little. Each time we go to Costco, we might grab a few things or we might do a bigger trip like this every once in a while just to make sure that these shelves have a good amount of food on them. My alarm just went off. Gotta go get the boys. <laughs> Stop that, Dad. I'm scared of you. 
Everett, what do you have? A little thing, a little fork that Gary gave me at while I'm at Costco. And what are you using it for? Eating bananas. Eating a little piece of banana. It's perfect. Do you love the little fork? Mm hmm. I want to eat everything, even a house. <sighs> In this garage. I would eat this with this a whole steak. <laughs> you that. Gary wanted Everett to have it. And Miss Luna has emerged and is watching over us all from her perch. Hi, oh, sweet girl. She looks like a little she looks like a loaf. Everything's hidden. Oh, there's her arm. You look like a loaf with your tail and arms hidden. Oh, Careful, don't hit her with the fork. <laughs> <laughs> we got our after school snacks done. I got about 20 minutes before I have to go pick up Hunter, so let's see if we can finish this. I still got this stuff left. I got a pile that I'm forming here, and anything that I want to take upstairs that I know we need upstairs, I've been putting by the door. This system is by no means perfect, but it does work really well for our family to use this as our overflow pantry and I can send the boys down here to get food when I'm making dinner if I need to. As I was putting stuff away, I realized I'm missing a couple things. Just went and found the olives and the garbanzo beans in the car still. I had stuck them on the back seat, so add those to the haul for today. I always love it when I finally take time to get this all organized because I find it kind of relaxing and I'm just so happy when it's all done and put back together. All right, friends, we are gonna go finish the project in the garage. First, we'll say hi to Miss Luna. Yes, hi, sweet girl. I love it when she sleeps in that perfect little dip in the back of the couch. That is one of her favorite spots. We did get a new little dusting of snow today. Very pretty. Now you may be wondering like, wait, why is this video still going? <laughs> True mom life. You start a project, you get interrupted a million times. When you last saw me, I had picked up the little boys. I was trying to finish the organizing in the garage. Then my alarm went off, had to go pick up Hunter. And now here we are two days later, looping back around to finish the project and I will give you a tour of our extended pantry in the garage. <laughs> oh man. I just have a little bit more organizing to do and then I'll give you the full tour. All right, friends, let's get this project done. I actually usually like to do the organizing before I go to Costco and do a stock up trip because the number one thing that comes out of organizing this area is I realize what I have and I know what I need at the store, but I also know what I have been neglecting to use over the last couple of months or weeks. So it's just good to know what's in there. So that's one of the main reasons I love doing this project. I decided to go all in and take care of this boot area as well, especially now that we are into the winter season and need an area to keep all of our wet boots. All right, friends, here we go. Let's take a little tour of our downstairs food storage. Up here we have the breakfast section. So there's cereal, oatmeal, some granola up there. I do have a small cleaning section here uh, for things that are in packages. Yes, they're next to the food, but not really anything that's gonna spill onto the food or cause smells or things like that. Everything's in packages. And then right here we have kind of our bulk items. I made sure to put the newest ones down on the bottom. So we have sugar, powdered sugar, flour, and rice. And then we also have some salt back in there and some quinoa. Uh, this is probably the biggest change right here. I cleaned up the shoes. Yes, I still have a mess over here. That's shoes that need to go inside and shoes that need to go in the basement till next summer. We will deal with that afterwards. On the bottom here, we have a lot of stuff that we have canned. That's honey from when we had beehives, applesauce, 
blueberry juice, bone broth, that's all down here on the bottom. One of the reasons it's down here is because it's glass and if there was an earthquake, I hope that it would survive down there. Yes, we should probably have some sort of ledge on these to keep things from falling off. It is on my list of things to do, it just has never happened. Next we have this can section. This section could probably use a lot more work, but we have things like pumpkin and beans and some soups from the summer. This whole section right here is stuff to make enchiladas. One day I was at Walmart and just kind of went crazy on enchilada supplies. Corn, veggies, chicken, lots of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, some beans, and we have some sliced peaches back there and some pitted olives. Remember, most of this stuff is stuff that we eat on a regular basis. Things like canned fruit, we don't eat that often. Sometimes we'll take it camping with us or on a trip if we can't take a lot of fresh fruit along. Um, but we don't eat that very often. The kids wish we would eat it more often, but I just like to have that. That's more of an emergency food. But everything else gets used. The beans always get used. If we run out of fresh veggies, we will grab a canned vegetable or something out of the freezer. This next shelf up, we have some shelf stable milk, which we try and go through. This says 921. Uh, if we run out of milk, we just grab those so that we are not leaving them on the shelf for too long because they do expire after a few years. So we use those and we don't worry about it and we just buy a new box when we see that we're getting low. I have an obsession with Kalamata <coughs> olives, so we've got a bunch of those. And we are a huge pickle eating family, so we've got a lot of pickles in there. Um, these, I was afraid they were going to disappear, so I grabbed several of them. I love them in my Greek salads. They're yummy. And then back here we have some salad dressings and uh, lots of banana peppers and some mustard and ranch and things like that. Then we have smoothie supplies. I use these in my smoothies every day. Peanut butter powder, collagen, and spaghetti sauce and peanut butter, raisins. This section I have some nuts like pumpkin seeds and I like these on salads. So I grab those and have a couple of them in there. And then we have a cracker section, graham crackers and wheat thins and some almond crackers over here. And that's a bag of goldfish. Like I said, everything gets dated so that we know when we bought it. See 11.22, 11.22, we wanna make sure that we know what's the newest, what's the oldest. All right, one more shelf. Up here we have more snacky things, some pretzels, some veggie straws. There is a box of mac and cheese back there, a whole bunch of noodles. We use noodles about once a week. Then we have some hot chocolate, some liquid IV back there, and some chocolate chips. Uh, we got a few boxes of these from when they were on sale. Yum, yum. These are the mashed potatoes I just bought. Those are really helpful if you're going camping and you just need something where you add water. Uh, these are for our breakfast burritos. So we stocked up on that. We have panko for when we make fried halibut. And we have some avocado oil, coconut oil. Now we restocked on the olive oil. And we do have a small section of paper goods like bowls and plates. They mostly get used in the summertime or if we have a big get together and we just don't have enough plates, but it takes us forever to get through them because we, we prefer to use regular plates. Anyways, that feels amazing to have that organized. I find that I have to come through and do that about every three months because kids help put away groceries. Sometimes they get things in the right places. Sometimes they don't. I prefer it to be a little bit more organized. So every about three months I come and do something like this and it just makes me so happy to have it clean and organized. And I'm sure I've already said this, but it's just good to know what you have too. When you do a project like this, you know exactly what you have. Same thing or happened when I organized the freezer. I realized all the stuff I had in there and then we used a lot of it afterwards. Let me show you the freezer. If you haven't seen this Freezer Max system, go check out that video. But you guys, it has stayed so nice and clean. Anytime I need something, I know exactly where it is. These rails are strong. They're not going anywhere. Some of you I know were a little bit worried that it wasn't gonna be a strong system, but you guys, it is amazing, fantastic. There's actually three rows of baskets in there. 
like I said, go watch the video because I'm a huge believer in that freezer max system. Thank you so much for coming to Costco with me today and organizing our garage food storage. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you, we love you, and we'll see you again soon for more of This Alaska Life. Now I gotta take care of this mess or else it would feel like it spoils all this being clean. <laughs> if you can't even walk in the house. Some days I bust out a project in a few hours. Sometimes it takes me three or four days to get it done, but either way, it always feels good when it's done. And I found my second pink boot. I was wondering where those had been. Now I have two. <laughs>